Hello. It is Tuesday, December 1st, and we continue our devotions in the season of Advent here in this first week of the uh, church here as we open our hearts and, and prepare them for the return of our Savior, our, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as he has promised that one day he will come and, and judge the world and take all believers to be with him in heaven. And so tonight our devotion comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 18, verses 36 and 37, where it says, Jesus replied, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight so that I would be handed over to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. You are a king then? Pilate asked. Jesus answered, I am, as you say, a king. For this reason I was born, and for this reason I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. And again, we continue our series of devotions from uh, this devotional book for, on the season of Advent, and it begins by with the title, Advent's Divine Invasion. Advent can be called a season of divine invasion. In the fantasy of human imagination, men have written about queer-looking men speeding mysteriously through space and invading the Earth. Now they're using scientific knowledge and projecting satellites from the Earth to invade the Moon. And the more enterprising are mapping out strategy for legal claims on Moon real estate. The Advent invasion transcends these Moon-Earth movements, whether born of imagination or founded on real facts of science. The King has come. He has come entirely on his own initiative, without human invitation. Where he, was, where he has come, every other ruler must become the lesser. Every other ruler must become a servant. His kingship is different from any other known to man. His servants are not required to fight as human soldiers do, to preserve his rule or to protect his person. His overpowering presence has captivated the hearts of those who have become his followers. They have heard his voice and they have yielded their obedience. A new kingdom has come. That is the real meaning of the Christian gospel. Where the kingdom of darkness held sway, the kingdom of light has moved in. Where despair was the rule, the new kingdom of hope has taken over. In a world where history is the story of struggles of the nations, each one contending for a top position, the kingdom of Christ has come to establish a new spirit and a new purpose, a new truth, has come. Ever since man's fall into sin, the knowledge of truth has been a dim and often perverted blur in the human mind. Man's search for the truth has been ceaseless and persistent. Often man has been in wild pursuit of truth, while deep within himself he secretly hoped that he would not find what he professed to be seeking. Advent tells man in glorious terms that truth has now come. Jesus Christ, the person of God's invasion into human levels, is the person of that truth. In his presence, all other truth becomes subservient. Before him, all other truth must stand in judgment. The lighting of each new Advent candle is a symbol of the Christian believer's acceptance of this divine invasion. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, thou King of truth, thou ruler of the new kingdom that has come among men, Grant that your kingdom may come surely to us who wait for you this Advent tide. Grant that many hearts may open to your coming and that many ears may hear your voice this holy season. Amen. And then in closing tonight, we hear the words of, of the second hymn in our hymnal uh, from the season of Advent, hymn number two, Savior of the Nations, come. Savior of the Nations, come. Virgin, Son, make here your home. Marvel now, O heaven and earth, that the Lord chose such a birth. Not by human flesh and blood, by the Spirit of our God, was the Word of God made flesh, woman's offspring, pure and fresh. Wondrous birth, O wondrous child, of the virgin undefiled, though by all the world disowned, yet to be in heaven enthroned. From the Father's throne he came and ascended to the same, captive leading death and hell, high the song of triumph swell. Praise to God the Father sing, praise to God the Son our King, praise to God the Spirit be, ever and eternally. May God bless you this Advent season. Good night.